Hi guys, back again. Uh, I'm just going to do uh, a relatively quick uh, video about some of the connection options for the end of either the, the coloured indice indicator section at the end of an infant leader or for putting the tippet onto uh, a tapered dry fly leader. Now there's loads of different types of ways to attach your tippet to a leader. Um, what you choose for yourself is really going to depend on a few factors like what kind of fishing you're doing, um, whether you're fishing in a competition or not because not all of these uh, technically legal under FIPS um, if you're fishing in say a world or a European championships but I'm just going to show you three different ways of doing it and you can use them uh, as you see fit for your own kind of fishing. I'll mention some of the pros and cons of them as we go along. Um, probably one of the most common ones in use today is this which is just a tippet ring. This is a two millimeter uh, black nickel tippet ring just tied uh, with a tucked blood to the end of a bit of indicator line. Um, it's a good way of doing it. It's fast, efficient. Um, every time you replace the tippet, you don't eat into your colour. So it's a little bit more long lasting than some other methods. Um, the downsides to it, some of the top level competitors now um, sort of steer away from it because um, there's a general train of thought that because it's additional weight in the leader, albeit very, very small, it can interfere with the quality of drift that you get particularly when you're using very, very thin tippets, very thin uh, diameter main leaders, and very, very lightweight beads. Um, so a lot of the top guys now don't use micro rings. Um, they actually tie the, the tippet material directly to the colour. It's a good way of doing it. The downside to it really is that you are eating into the coloured line. So every time you change tippet, you lose a little bit of your coloured indicator. Um, which in competitions, um, obviously we're only allowed to have a certain distance between knots. So it starts to become a, a little bit of a pain at times, but it's still a very, very good way of doing it. Uh, a lot of other people also like to, to just put a loop into the end of the color. This is a perfection loop, really good way of doing it if you're not competition fishing. Um, it also has some useful side benefits as well. Um, main one being, if you're going to float the sighter on the surface of the water, so if you're using very, very light nymphs and you want to float the sighter to use it a little bit like you would if you were standard or traditional upstream nymphing, you can fill that little loop up with uh, quite a lot of grease to help that colour float better. So it gives you a slightly better indication. So that's a useful sort of uh, side tactic of having a perfection loop in the end of your leader. Now, for very, very, if you like, technical applications where I want to keep everything as neat as possible, um, I like to use this knot on occasion. This is the one I'm actually going to show you on camera. So this is basically a micro loop. Um, it's a tied loop, so it's actually, there's no micro ring there. There is just actually a tiny, tiny loop in the end of that knot that I can tie uh, a tippet section straight onto. I'll just prove it to you that there is actually a loop there. Just take a little bit of tip material. Quickly thread it. There we go. So there is a loop in the end of that. Now, advantage of it, it weighs nothing. It's very, very neat. Um, Disadvantage, it's not really a good idea to use it with heavier um, diameter tippet materials um, because at the end of the day, it is just a, a knot that has not been closed fully and I'm going to show you how to tie it now. Um, so with very, very heavy, heavy tippet materials, I would probably steer away from it and I would probably use a tippet ring. That said, when you're using heavier diameter tippet materials anyway, and as a result, probably heavier flies, doesn't matter that there's a tippet ring in the leader because the weight's not really going to affect your drift. So quickly on to how you tie it. I've got a needle in the vise. Here's a bit of coloured line. Um, hook that over the needle. Going to go around it four times. Then back through the loop. So basically an untucked blood at that point or a clinch. So around it goes. Probably pulled that a little bit too tight, so I'll slacken it a bit. Moisten the knot slightly. 
back through that loop there. There we go. Then I'll pull that up. No. There's the knot, nice and tight. Now at that point, job nearly done. Take a needle, a little bit of super glue. I'm gonna glue that knot. No, when it's glued, Quickly before it sets, you need to rotate that around the needle. That's obviously to stop it from sticking to the needle. Rotate it round, keep it going. Now obviously you'd want to wait until that's fully set. And what we'll do, flip it off the end. I'll go in with the snips, take the tag end off, and there is a micro loop right in the end of the colour. And again, just to prove there is a there is a loop there, because I don't know how well this is going to come out on film. I'm going to drop in. Tie some tippet to it. There you go. Good strong connection. Good for lighter weight applications, smaller flies, and lighter nymphing leaders. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot.